Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Bitcoin Rush episode number 16. Today, we are reporting on the Australian government, the Bitcoin for Business Guide, Bitcoin Alchemy, Gold for Bitcoin, Zafello, a Swedish company, the Open Minute with Rian, co-developer of Count My Crypto, the North Carolina Commission of Banks, and Indeed.com, the ultimate Bitcoin job search. The Australian government has published a short Bitcoin for Businesses guide on their business website, which intends to educate businesses on the benefits of accepting digital currency like Bitcoin in exchange for goods and services. For the Bitcoin insider, the information is well known. For a business owner who's been hearing about Bitcoin, it could prove to be a valuable resource. The guide covers a number of topics, of which include a basic primer on cryptocurrencies, in addition to how a business can accept Bitcoin. Should I accept Bitcoin payments? Perhaps the most commonly asked question among business owners interested in this emerging payment system. I say yes, Bitcoin can offer an alternative method of payment for your customers and lower transaction fees for your business. The guide also provides a brief mention of using Bitcoin to pay employees, in which it would be considered a normal salary for the purpose of taxation. If you want to read the guide entirely, the link is below. Bitcoin Rush is featuring today Bitcoin Alchemy. Bitcoin Alchemy is a US-based multi-faceted cryptocurrency site. They offer gold, silver and other metals for Bitcoin. They currently have an active script mining pool where miners can take payouts in Bitcoin or bullion or a combination of these. Miners also earn points for mining with them that can be used to purchase precious metal goods from their online store. They just recently opened their metals and jewelry buying service. They will buy gold, silver, jewelry, diamonds, and even watches and pay out in Bitcoin. What is so unique about Bitcoin Alchemy? Bitcoin Alchemy was built 100% with Bitcoin and they only accept Bitcoin for payments. They believe this is the best way to promote the cryptocurrency economy, emphasizing in service as well as transparency as a means of building trust within this tight-knit community. Bitcoin Alchemy are the only site offering buying services for metals to Bitcoin, though there are other sites where customers can buy gold and silver bars. They have a very low overspot price on all their products. And what about their development? They are currently adding a wide range of mining pools and services to accommodate every kind of miner. They will also be selling GIA and EGL certified diamonds for Bitcoin in the next few months. 
they will soon have an educational section of the site devoted to the beginner, whether simply a buyer, miner or someone just curious about how it all works. The biggest item in the development is the asset tracking service. This will be a place where miners can track how much they are mining, what it's worth when they mine and what it's worth when they sell. Taxes can be a nightmare and with Bitcoin profits, it is even harder to figure out how much you owe the government. They believe that to bring cryptocurrencies mainstream and in compliance with US tax law, proper tools for miners, investors and buyers of Bitcoin are a necessity. They will be constantly updating this site and adding features to make it the go-to resource for all cryptocurrency followers. Really cool project. Please check out bitcoinalchemy.com. What about Bitcoin fundraising? Zafello, a Swedish Stockholm-based company founded in July 2013, has the goal to make Bitcoin fundraising a fundamental source of income for these and other charities by connecting them to audiences they may otherwise not reach. The company is focused on supporting cryptocurrency market with a safe way to buy, sell, store and use Bitcoin. Its team consists of security specialists, serial entrepreneurs and Bitcoin experts. With 87 banks supported in 11 countries, Zafello has quickly established a leading position in the European Bitcoin market. Now they are working on Bitcoin donation pages, which create a new way of donating money by letting charities run free Bitcoin fundraising campaigns where 100% of the funds go to the cause. Donations show up in real time in the transaction stream where the funding goal is automatically updated. It enables local charities to create a global campaign in minutes. The donation pages of LifeBuild, Shifo and the LifeBuild Foundation show the power of Bitcoin in a very tangible way. Real-time incoming donations from people all around the world uniting to complete a funding goal to support these causes. And I invite you to help right now. Check out the Every Child Counts campaign from Shifo. The link is below. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Open Minute. Today we are having Rian. Rian is a developer and cryptocurrency trader and she is the co-developer and co-founder of the altcoin portfolio tracker CountMyCrypto.com. The site and browser extension allow easy visualization of more than 450 coins against 150 fiat currencies. I tried it myself and adopted it for my own use. It's really cool and please check it out yourself at CountMyCrypto.com. Let's hear what Rian has to tell us today. What does a Bitcoin have in common with a medieval bill of exchange? At first glance, not a lot. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, after all, are decentralized and digital, whereas a bill of exchange was a piece of paper that merchants used to hand each other as a promise to pay silver or gold across national boundaries. But the two have more in common than we might think, and there's a lesson to be learnt from this. 700 years ago, bills of exchange were seen as a disruptive financial technology in the same way that Bitcoin is seen today. Governments wanted to ban them. In fact, in some countries, governments did ban them. People said they'd never catch on. 
But as soon as the full potential was realised, because they were not decentralised but issued by individuals, they became very heavily regulated and in fact they became the foundation of our modern banking system. It's no coincidence that just as we see governments seeking to regulate Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, large corporations and banking institutions are talking about issuing their own digital currencies. If we don't want our only choice of payments in the future to be between government-issued digital currencies and those issued by the likes of Goldman Sachs and Facebook, we've got to remember, decentralise our currencies, keep them free. North Carolina is taking a different approach to regulating virtual currencies. No bid license required. North Carolina Commission of Banks, which is the primary state regulator for financial regulations in North Carolina, recently revealed that while it is working with government agencies and private stakeholders to establish regulations, their approach is different than the New York bid license model. Their goal is propagating administrative regulations to clarify the regulatory position with respect to virtual currencies, adding that North Carolina is treating virtual currency as monetary value under their Money Transmitters Act. I'm leaving a link below to understand what it all means. And because they have some concerns about the ability of existing law to keep pace with changes in cryptocurrencies, further legislation may be necessary. These rules proposed by the North Carolina Commission of Banks are intended to clarify existing law. The New York bid license is becoming more and more criticized even among the government community. Indeed.com is an employment related meta search engine for job listings launched in November 2004. As a single topic search engine, it is also an example of vertical search. Indeed.com is currently available in over 50 countries and 28 languages. In 2010, Indeed.com surpassed Monster.com to become the most visited job site in the United States as of March 2014. And they are reaching over 140 million unique visitors every month. And why would that be worth mentioning? Because Indeed.com is now listing Bitcoin jobs. The Bitcoin job rate since 2013 is skyrocketing. A new economy has been born and it is growing and growing every day. And therefore, Indeed.com is a good place to start searching for a new job. Try it yourself. I'm leaving the link below. Very exciting indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for today. Please support Bitcoin Rush on Twitter at Bitcoin underscore Rush. See you next week. Bye bye. Eyes open. No fear. Yeah.